Welcome back everybody. Today we're in the street stocks at Stafford. I don't really run Stafford too often and we'll see how this goes. I did some practice. I got the track a little bit. I think the fastest I ran was a 21-147 was the fastest I got, but it takes like 10 laps for the tires to come in. So qualifying probably won't be great. Just a warning. I think I'll be lucky to get into like the 21.5s or 4s in qualifying. But we'll see how this goes. First couple laps, the tires are like on ice almost, so this qualifying is going to be rough, I feel like. Green, green, green. We might be starting from the back if I don't do it, You're anything good. Time, you have to really wait for the car to rotate so you can get off the corner pretty decent. I kind of diamond one and two for the most part, and I just stay low in three and four. One more lap. You can probably diamond both the corners, to be honest. 485, I'm not upset about that at all. I said I'd be happy with a five or four, and there goes the car. <laughs> Somehow saved that. I honestly thought I was just going for a spin there. But that'll probably be our fastest lap. The first one, that lap was a 6.52. Yeah, did not expect the second lap to be faster. They're running a one in qualifying. I cannot. There's no way. I could never do that. These tires were way too loose for me. It takes like seven, eight, nine laps for these tires to come in. I could run pretty consistent. And like, I could run consistently in like the twos. So, we're down to seventh already. Probably gonna fall a little bit further back. We're the number four car at a 17 in this race, so. I need to finish pretty decent to get to my rate in here, so I will pick it back up when we're about to go green. Okay, so we fell down to ninth. Not the greatest, but about mid-pack. Hopefully we can move our way up the field during this right, long race. On the inside row. 70 Your laps here. There are cautions. You don't have any sets of tires, so there's no real reason to pit unless you have major damage. So, yeah. Hopefully it's not a wreck fest. A lot of these street stock races end up being like wreck fest. And it's not the greatest. We'll see if this one turns out any differently. Hopefully. I hope it does. Stafford seems like a good racing track. You can get some good side by side. The bottom guy we, seems like they usually win it out. But if the guy on the outside is good enough and pinches the bottom guy. They might be able to get a better runoff. But I haven't been able to do that here every time i pass someone that's been on the bottom every time i've gotten past they've been on the bottom so i haven't really been able to make that outside work it's kind of like a barely banked new hampshire in a way just barely but it's pretty flat overall there's not much banking to it at all all right let's get rolling come on Yeah, they were super fast in the front. Pole got a 167, second was a 196. That's crazy for qualifying in my eyes. Yeah, yeah, there's the, the top four is cars number one, two, three, and five. And I'm number four back in ninth, so I'm, I'm struggling compared to them. <laughs> they, there's some people in here that are really good at the Street Stock series, so... This kind of is a good test. I think, um, where was it? I think it was, I've raced against a lot of good people in the Street Stock Series lately. I've been racing it on Thursday nights, and they seem very competitive on Thursday nights in the Street Stocks. If I were to run it like Saturday morning, like I normally do Saturday or Sunday, probably could get some more wins and have better finishes, but I'd rather face the harder drivers and not win the race then face a lot lower i ratings than me and win the race if that makes any sense yeah winning is winning it's nice but i'd rather win against better competition when i'm not the number one car that's just my opinion all right man we're going green next time bye i like having higher i rating people that i can try Jeez. to beat One to green. Let's see how early they go. They probably go real early. Right. That six car is getting dangerously close to smacking the uh, Ricky Bobby Bobcat looking car. I think it's the 11 up there. Get ready. That six car is uh, burning off his tires. Right, 
a lot. He's trying to warm him up. He went pretty early. Green, green, green. Gotta be careful the first couple laps. Tires are cold. And there goes uh, the number one car. He's gone in turn one. He got sent. I don't know who hit him, but he got sent in turn one. Where does that put us? Does that put us eighth now and we're on the outside? I really don't want that. I was really hoping the 17 that I got past in that corner was in eighth, and I was going to be up to seventh, but I believe I'm going to be in eighth now and start on the outside. Yes, we are. That kind of sucks. Oh, well. Well, I'll pick it back up when we're about to go green. <laughs> we got turn one caution. So, that's how racing goes. Alright, man, we're going green next time. Bye. Alright, man, line up on the outside row now. Catch the nine car. Very confused. Why it's telling me to go outside. Catch up, catch up, catch up, catch up, catch up. Go, when go, 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 go. I'm in seventh up! place now. Okay, they are very loud. The the first place guy pitted the number two car. Oh, that's why the number one car got a some some kind of penalty, right there. Right, and we're technically in six man. now. I don't know what just happened. Green, green, green. So, so one guy pitted, then the next guy who was the leader got a penalty or did yeah, something to go to the back. Still there. Still start on the outside, which sucks. Oh, that guy just spun it. Seven cars spun. The 17 got spun. We are now up to fifth. <laughs> what is going on? The guy below me just spun out, and then the guy behind me was checking up for that guy, and then he got spun. So, another kind of turn one wreck coming off turn two on the back stretch. But we gained a position, I guess. We're up to fifth. So at least we'll start on the bottom next time. So that's good. But I will cat I will bring it back once we're going green again. All right, man. We're going green next time. Bye. All right, man. Line up on the inside row. <laughs> All right. Up to fifth. Started ninth. The number one car got sent in turn one. Then the number two car that was in the lead pitted. Saying he was getting tires, even though there's no tires, obviously, and he knows that. He's just being funny going to the back. Then the next guy, who was the leader, got some sort of penalty. I think going ahead of the pace car or something. So we restarted the six. Then right, the fifth place guy pace spun car. out. The guy behind him got spun. It's been crazy. Green flag. Crazy Green start flag. to this race. Can we get some racing, though? Outside. He is smoking his tires. He did not Stay get in there very good. The all clear, all clear. Got one outside. They're clear trying to be on, careful. These on. tires are very cold still. Oh, they're wrecking behind. Got one inside. Okay, Got he's gonna literally dive under the apron. Nice. Good all job, clear, dude. All clear. Oh, there's a big wreck behind us. I saw some smoke for sure. Yeah, that was the guy that was on the lead. He's definitely fast, but he drives like an asshole. <laughs> I understand you're faster. You don't have to dive bomb me and then get sideways into me. I'm surprised there was no caution for that huge wreck behind me. But I'll take it, because that puts a huge gap between me and the guys behind me. And I can just kind of take my time. Let my tires come in. Not do that. I'm not trying to do a four-wheel drift off of the corner. Whoever that is, is getting into every corner way too hard. Yeah, one inside. Oh, okay. Clear I didn't. Low, I low. honestly had no clue that guy was down there. He was coming out of the pits or something. That scared the shit out of me. Oh, 11 sideways. Nearly hooked the two. Right, man. There's the is caution. Is a little Line late up, for <laughs> when it should have probably came out, but that's caution number three. We're on lap 16. This race is going by very slow. Wish it wasn't a caution fest, but I'll pick it back up when we go green. All right, man. We're going green next time. Bye. All right, man. Line up on the inside row. All right. Little update about that. Uh, that. Caution. Uh, the number two car went through the pits again, so I guess he'd start in the back because he's fast enough he can go from the back to the front of the field very quickly. And I guess that's just what he liked to do, so. 
either way, it gives us a better starting position. We would have been in sixth on the outside, now we're fifth on the inside, so I'm okay with it. The base car is in. Wow, he waited a long time for that Green restart. Okay, yeah, the guy behind, the guy on the outside got bumped, outside. and that took him straight down to me. I watched that happen in my mirror. All clear, all clear. The 10 car bumped the uh, 13, and that got him sideways straight into me, so I kind of knew that was happening. Outside. You're clear high, clear high. Oh, car does not want to turn to 3 and 4 right now. Oh, they're wrecking behind me. Not completely sideways, though, just in the wall. You're back in pit. Number one car is behind me now, and he was really fast and qualifying. And there's the caution. Okay, then. Jesus. Can we get some green flag racing, please? I want to get this race going. We're only on lap 23, and this is our fourth caution. Holy shit. It's like every other lap is a caution. Ridiculous. Well, we're still in fifth, so we'll have a good starting position unless somebody pits again for some odd reason. But I will pick it back up once we go green yet again. Pit road is now open. All right, man, we're going green next time by. All right, man, line up on the inside row. Okay, can we get some green flag racing this time? I'm kind of nervous because the uh, the one's going to be on my outside. The two is going to be behind him. And there's two super fast guys that are right there, like, behind me. So, or to my outside, pretty much. So, and there, I know that the two is super aggressive. I don't know about the one. I don't know how get aggressive ready. he is, but we'll see. The pace car is in. But if we can get some green flag racing, that'd be great. Green, green, green. Because you can't really even get a rhythm right now. And there green goes the two. The all the way to the apron. Hold your line. Got a car to my outside. Hold you made it line. that way. You got one inside. Be too wide there. All clear, all clear. I just did not want to end up in a wreck with them. The two is way too aggressive. The one just ran it fine. I was just trying to be way too conservative. Got one inside. Okay, dude. Really? Clear low, clear low. Got one inside. Save that. Clear low, clear I don't know low. how I saved that, but I did. Definitely thought I was going to get ran into because this 10 car dives the corners like the two car. But he doesn't have nearly the skill the two car does. I can guarantee that. Oh, hey, we're finally getting some green flag racing. Watch me jinx it now. I need to get in a fucking rhythm. I'm messing up turn three and four really bad. Got one outside. Thanks, ten car. Stay low. All clear, all clear. Did not need that little tap. I'm happy I was able to save it though. I just don't dive the corner as far as everybody else. I'd rather get a better exit. Oh, that six car hit the wall. I think the car in front of him did too. Oh, and he's around. Don't come up. Oh my god, that was close. Holy shit. I don't know how I avoid those wrecks. That's crazy. I had one like that in the Arca race <laughs> just before this one. So I'm getting lucky with a uh, wreck avoidance. But, yeah. Caution number five. Lap uh, 34. I'll pick it back up again once we go green. All right. We're halfway to the finish. All right, man. We're going green next time by. All right, man. Line up on the outside row now. All right. This restart's going to be different than the other one because we're actually on the outside. I think I've been on the outside for one other restart, but it was a very quick one. And the inside guy spun out, so... I really haven't had much experience on this outside, so hopefully I can get a good restart here. And the two's gonna be coming back up through the field again. He's in ninth after that spin. All right, man. Pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. We had a pretty good restart overall. As good as I really could. You're up top three wide. Oh, of course we are. Hold your line. Who was yeah, it? The two? Inside. Yep. Every Still time, there. I'm Hold telling you, he is so fucking aggressive. It's ridiculous. All clear. All clear. Oh, 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 inside. God. Go high. All right, man. Go oh, the ten's coming back. Oh God, we ended up in that one. That sucks. Oh God, they're still wrecking. They're still hitting me. Okay, cool. 
We have a lot of people to go past back by, I think. I don't think we got that much damage, really, but we'll see where it ends up putting us back. Where are we going to be put back? Past the 5, past the 14. Stay behind the 8. Okay. Don't really know exactly where that puts us, but they started wrecking up more in the front of me. The 6 and the 11 did, because the 11 came way high. And... Yeah, we, we're back to 7th. I don't think we got that much damage. My hood doesn't look very messed up. I know I went... Up 10's in front of us, okay. But... I hit the 10 car on his side with my nose. I don't think it was that bad. We'll see once we start going green, but that's caution number 6, lap 40. Still got 30 more laps, guys. Can we get some green flag racing? Alright, man, we're going green next time. Bye. Alright, man, line up on the outside row now. Oh, the six car uh, has retired from this race. I guess his car was wrecked bad enough to where he wasn't going to continue. Either that or he was going to be laps down and there was no reason for him to continue, I guess. I don't know. He definitely would have gotten his laps back, I can tell you that. I think the uh, five car was multiple laps down. He got his laps back. Get ready. I don't know if second or third is better, but I'm sticking to second. You just have to shift so fast in second. Third gear, you'd have a little bit more build up. Still there. Stay high. There's the car on the low side. All clear, all clear. Got one out. Okay, I got clear of the guy below me because he had a bad restart pretty much. Stay low. Yeah, that five car is back on the lead lap for sure, racing me. Oh, that's my bad. Clear high. Clear high. Got one outside. I got into the five there, so that was my fault. I went in a little too hot. We were able to save it, though. The guys behind checked up, too, which was nice. Okay, can we actually get a rhythm now? I feel like that's why this race is going so poorly. Nobody can get a rhythm. And this track, you kind of need rhythm for. Like, you can't just keep going two laps, two laps, two laps. It... You, you just can't get your your rhythm at all. I'm a lot better once I can get a rhythm going. So I can be consistent. On a short run, I'm not very good. Oh, that's going to be the wall. Oh, I thought I was going to nail the wall there. Some people get into the corner so hard. They lock up their front left getting in. Yeah, I just ran my fastest lap of the race because now we're actually able to get some green flag racing. We're in a 247, which isn't great by any means, but it's not awful at the same time. Oh, I got on the gas way too early in that corner. Messed up my exit. I didn't let the car rotate early or enough. I just got on the gas. You have to let the car rotate so you can get on the gas. To get off a corner. This track's very uh, momentum based for the straightaways. Because if you mess it up, you could smack the wall real hard coming off. Oh, I thought that 8 was going to hit the 11. I'm going to see if I can follow the 8 right under him. Oh, that 11's really trying out there, though. He's really trying hard. That 10's really trying hard to get into the back of that 5. I guess he didn't like the way he got passed. Or that he got past in general. Go, 11, go. The 11 dies it down to the corner. A lot of people do here. I don't, I just can't. I get sideways if I dive it in too deep. We have 20 laps to go at the line. Hey, we've, I think we've actually gone like 10 laps. Because people are actually getting spread out or racing. Oh, 11 car. I had to check up for you. He messed up his corner, so I had to check up to not get into the back of him. I'm definitely a little faster than this 11 car. Getting off these corners, or just rolling through these corners. He dives them real hard. 
but I get a better exit usually. That time I had to check up for him again. And I'm trying not to hit his rear end, turn him around. I want this to go green to the end. Might have to employ a bump and run towards the end, but not right now. Try to get by him clean if I can, if I can catch back up. Oh, that's the wall. Oh, Jesus. That sent me flying. Holy shit. That was not good. You're clear high. Clear high. I did not expect that wall to send me to the infield. This <laughs> is whatsoever. I really did not expect that. Oh, now we have a lot of positions to try to make back up. And if there's going to be a wreck, it's going to be in front of me because I am the last car on track right now. I really fucked up there. These guys are side by side. I can't really get by. I was trying too hard coming off the corner and I just completely misread it. I might be able to get by this 16 car on the outside the way he's driving. Or I might be able to make a move to his inside now. That he's not side by side. Might be able to off of the next corner. Try to get an early turn down and get a run off. That did not work. At all. I tried to brake early so I can get under him coming off. That did not work. Of course the time that we have the green flag run probably for the rest of the race I mess up you can definitely use that apron a little bit if you need to it doesn't get you loose down there really just ran my fastest lap of the race so 182 that's kind of respectable I'd say I'm gonna lock up their brakes hard I don't think I've seen people lock up their brakes. Oh, God damn it. He smacked the wall and I got right into him because I had nowhere to go. I was holding left trying to get under him because I saw he was going to hit it. That fucking sucks. I feel like that big wreck just really put us in a bad situation after that. Because I've had a bunch of clean races leading up to this one. I guess our luck just ran out for this race. Oh, I'm not the last car on track. There is a guy behind me. <laughs> Needs to make me feel a little better. Oh, that's frustrating, though. Had some bad luck with the one wreck. I smacked the wall myself, then had bad luck with the 16 smacking the wall right in front of us. Definitely catching back up to these guys pretty quickly. I almost came off too straight there. That would have been bad. Leaders are 10 seconds back. I don't have to worry about them at all. Unless I smack the wall again. Yeah, see, the two's back in the lead. Like, he's super fast. Him and the one were just super fast. And the two went from the back to the front like three times. Alright, can we gain some positions now? He's going in way too deep. Outside. Got the bottom three wide. Outside. Let me wide get under the 16, please. 16, I'm still here. Stay low. There's a yeah, he got in way too side. hard. There we go. That's two spots right there. Still there. Hold your line. Stay low. You're clear high. Clear high. Oh, 16 hit the wall again. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can try to pick off this last guy, the 12. Gotta be consistent. There's five laps left coming up. I think I can get by him. As long as I run my line. I think I'm as fast as that 13 car that's already drove away from these guys. I just gotten stuck in traffic at the bad time, I guess. That and the 16 hitting the wall. Let's see if I can get by him on the outside. Still there. 
Clear low, clear low. With the crossover move. That was nice. That was real nice. Stay low. I wasn't going to try to get by on the outside, and then I saw that I wasn't going to make anything, so I just checked up a little bit more and crossed them back over. I had to really pedal that when I had a bad corner. Oh, I had a bad entrance. Got one inside. Say hi. Had a good all exit clear, though, because he couldn't get all the way on the throttle because I was on his outside. All right, so hopefully I can hold off to 11th. Definitely gonna lose some I rating in this race, being car number four. Definitely gonna lose a lot of safety getting 10x currently. Gotten the one wreck, smacked the wall myself hard one, enough, one and then go. got into the 16 because I was on his bumper when he smacked the wall and it just stopped him. I don't know how damaged my car is. It doesn't feel too damaged. They'll have decent speed overall, so. Like, I still have my speed at least. <laughs> That's decent, I guess. Not great. Well, that was an unfortunate event that happened in the race. We had a 30 lap green flag run at the end, and I messed up. I think I could have probably finished. I don't know, what is in front of me? 10th, 9th, 8th, maybe 7th-ish? That was around that group. We'll get him next time. So, I think I could have finished around 7th, which might have gained me some I rating, really. But I want to go back and see that one wreck. I think that was the last caution. The wreck I ended up in. Where was it? I think it was like the last caution. Where did we start going green? Around here? Yep, that's where it was. Alright, so what happened? The 6 car and the 11 got together. The oh, they're 3 wide because the 2 car again just dives the corners. Bumped him up out of the way, got below him. The 11 couldn't get back down, I guess. Got into the 6, 6 hooks the 10, and then that pulls the 10 all the way over. I saw him coming to my left side. And I just couldn't check up enough. But we didn't get that badly damaged. But he kept getting hit. And then the 17. What happened to the 17? Oh, he got clipped by the 10. And I just barely clipped him too. Because I was I would hit the guy below me. That's unfortunate. We ended up in a big wreck there. Yeah, the car's pretty fine overall. Not not that bad. Not really that bad. And then then we have a green flag run. Long green flag run. Where do I smack the wall? Probably right here, do my guess. Yep. <laughs> Slow laugh. Coming off the corner a little too hard. Smacked it and it jolts me that way. That really sucked. My car literally got air from that. Literally got some air. From smacking the wall. Did all four come off or just... Oh, just my front left mainly. But that jolted me far enough to the side. It just took me into the grass. I'm happy I didn't spin it out completely. So, that that pretty much saved me. Where did the 16 smack the wall? I would assume around here. He smacked the wall there now. It's gonna be coming up though. It's either this lap or the next lap. I'm right on the 16's bumper. He smacks the damn wall hard as hell. Where was it? Where was it? I feel like it was off this corner. He got real low. Hit the gas early. He's going up. I'm on his bumper. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Jesus. I had such bad luck this race. He just gets up a little too high. I'm turning the wheel as hard as I can left without burning up my whole tires because I can't really go anymore left and he just stops him. I'm surprised it didn't jolt his car like it did mine. And then coming towards the end. I do a pretty good move on the 12 here, which I'm very proud about. That was really nice. Where do I get to his outside? I think it was this this corner. I said I'm going to try to go outside. I figure I'm not going deep enough. Stop a little bit. Get a good turn under. He came off a little straight. Had a great crossover. That would have been a good race for the line right there. So... It was an unfortunate race, definitely. Got in some accidents, have a 10x, that really sucked, but 
Finishing 11th, car number 4. Probably going to lose a decent amount of I rating and a lot of safety. So let's go check out how much I lost, I guess. All right. Results came in. The two car ended up winning. Not surprised by that. He was very aggressive. He ended up with 8x. I'm, very, I'm not surprised by that at all. That was that was bad. I lost 52 in that race. That really sucks. Oh, that's that's that that hurts. The point forty three in safety that doesn't worry me. I have a ton of safety if I need to lose it. But oh my, the, the I rating is just so hard to come by. I definitely lost more than I got in the Arca race before this. So that's unfortunate. Oh, the Arca race gained a good amount of I rating. I think I gained like thirty eight, thirty seven, something like that. And then I lose it all back and some in this race. That's unfortunate because I think I could have finished about seventh ish. That was around the 10 and the 11 group when I smacked the wall. So I think I could have definitely been up there. I was only four seconds off. I definitely lost more than four seconds after leaving them. So definitely think I could have finished up there. That might have gained me the slightest bit of I rating. So we'll, we'll never know. But appreciate all of you guys watching. It was just an unfortunate race, I guess, for me. Doesn't happen too often. I like to be... A better racer and not get that many incidents but sometimes it just happens that way and you can't avoid it but if you guys want to watch my last oval race which was arca at bristol which actually crazy i don't know how i didn't end up with an incident at bristol in an arca race there's no cautions if you want to watch that that's on screen right now like comment subscribe if you guys want to watch some more and if you want to watch any of my dirt racing that playlist will be on screen now appreciate all of you guys watching i will catch you in the next race